about to open a window into the life of a ghost hunter. We'll show you dark, creepy roads that fade into the night. We'll show you haunted places, but most importantly, we'll show you what happens along the way there. Hey everybody, I'm Jeff. And I'm Linda. And we're hitting the road this weekend, going up to St. Albans yes. Sanitarium. EnigmaCon 2022. Yes, and this is supposed to be the most haunted place in Virginia. We spent a night there right a while there. back. Perhaps we can link that video at the end of this one so mm -hmm. you can check it out if you stay tuned till the end, which a lot of people don't. But if you do, you'll see it. Yep. But we're gonna get on the road, it's gonna be an adventure because we got like a four and a half hour drive. We do, pretty good long drive. And yeah. we're going to be talking about demons yeah. tomorrow. That's yep. what our presentation is about. But we'll be set up a table there, there'll be some vendors. Mm -hmm. It should be a pretty interesting event. Yep. So first thing is to put that second G in the title. Yep. Find something it's to food. eat. One thing that's pretty cool about going out to these kind of places is you, you see a lot of interesting people. You do. You do. And a lot of the paranormal conventions, the Paracons, we've set up there and it's been mostly paranormal teams. But with this right. event being sold out, I'm yeah. thinking that there might be some, some regular people there, which is going to be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because of the investigation tomorrow night. You know, right. People are probably purchasing tickets specifically for that investigation. So, right. You know. But I, the one thing I'm hoping is that they don't make us wear masks. Like, I don't want to wear a mask the entire day that I'm inside that place. And it is going to be kind of close quarters, but, yeah. you know. But, I mean, I work in a classroom all day, and I don't wear a mask. I don't have to wear a mask anymore. So, if you don't have to wear it in a school... Oh, uh, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You would think that you wouldn't have to wear it as a bat. Yeah, but, you know, paranormal people tend to be a little bit, you know, like, worried about stuff like that. They, they're a little more, you know, uh, high strong. Yeah. Nice way yeah. to put it. Yeah, so, I don't know why they gotta be like that. And, and like, they talk about being sensitive and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, even the term sensitive. Like, if you think about the term sensitive, to me, that means, like, ow, that's really hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I'm sensitive to that heat, you know? Or uh, I'm sensitive to the pollen, but sensitive right. doesn't really, to me, it doesn't really do it for, oh, I can see ghosts, I'm sensitive. Yeah. But think about it. Like, we associate that term with being able to see ghosts for so yeah. long. Yeah, because somebody just coined the phrase at some point, and, you know, it's forever been labeled sensitive. Yeah. You know? I think what we need to do is recoin this phrase. Uh -huh. I, I personally, I think I would prefer the term unveiled. Uh. You know, like, oh, you're a little more unveiled than I am. Oh, uh, see, that makes sense. Because the veil is a little more a little taken off, a little yeah. more lifted, right? That's right, yeah. So, I, I think from now on, Officially, like when we talk to clients that are, yeah, we're not going to tell them, like, oh, you know what, you may be a little bit sensitive to it. We're going to say you might be a little unveiled. Yeah, right? that makes sense. Yeah, 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 we could certainly do that. Yeah, hopefully, they don't think it means like crazy, like, you know, a little <laughs> unveiled. unhinged. Uh, yeah, <laughs> is that like being unhinged? Well, it depends, it could be, <laughs> it could be. you know, it depends on your situation. But yeah. Tomato, tomato, hopefully, not. So kind of a customary stop for us on the way out, about an hour down the road. We're at a Love's and we're gonna go in here and get some Arby's. It's been a while since we had some Arby's. It has been. So I'm go for that roast beef sandwich and I hear, rumor has it that they have some boneless chicken wings. Ooh. Ooh. Your 
Shower is ready. Shower is ready. So what do we got there? Um, this is the King's Hawaiian fish, and they have a spicy version too, but it comes on a King's Hawaiian roll, which is always really good. Nice slab of fish, and um, it looks nothing like the picture, of course, but it always tastes really good. Right. And they come out, I think, around Easter. Um, they're a limited time thing, so you can't get them unless it's around this time period. And when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I gotta have that. That's, so that's King's cool. Hawaiian is not the type of fish, it's the type of roll that it's on. Correct. Ah, yes. I see, I see. Now we've got a plethora of sauces here. We do. Featuring the spicy three pepper sauce, which I love. Dijon mustard to dip some fries. And for my roast beef sandwich, I'm gonna put on some Arby sauce and some horsey sauce, which I've been doing since I was a kid. But let's take a look at these boneless bites here. If I can get them open with one hand. There are hot honey. And oh man, look oh, those at those things. Just glistening with the hot honey. They kind of resemble the Nashville hot sauce it that, looks you like know, it. that they do at KFC. Yeah, yeah. And they have the option of hot honey or buffalo. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sample these boneless bites here. I've had the buffalo before. I've never had the hot honey. Mm. And uh, like it's the sauce is just, I love it when it's like covered with mm. sauce like that. They are very saucy. Mmm. See, Arby's knows what they're doing. They do. Good. That's really good. Now, I'm not a boneless wing person. I like the traditional wings. But these are very good for boneless wings. Very good. Like, I would expect to be getting these at like a, a wing place. Pretty good. We got some crinkle cut fries here. Some curly fries. How's the Hawaiian fish sandwich? Mm. Live up to traditional Easter expectations. The fish is always really hot and it's very a mild fish, so it's not like a real strong fishy flavor because if it was, I wouldn't eat it. So probably cod, you know, mm -hmm. white fish or something like that, but it is really, really good. Very good. All right, so, oh, Hulkamania. That's pretty cool. I like how they've been bringing back some Hulkamania stuff. I found something you're gonna be excited about. Carolina Reaper Extra Hot Cheese Curls. Ooh. Okay. Those look like they're, they'd be really hot, but that's not it, okay? We got more here. Look at this. It's the sweet corn, popcorn that they usually sell, but fiery. it's fiery hot. That looks pretty amazing. It does. I've never seen this Your before. Shower is and down awesome. here. These proceed to shower three. Ooh, ghost, ghost pepper, pepper flavored flavor. chips. Man, those look pretty good. I know, they do look pretty good. I'm quite impressed that they started coming out with the hot spicy things. Yeah. Obviously they know that they're popular and you know, they're good. So, pretty cool. That's right. I'd have to stop back through on the way back and try some. And that moving sign behind you, uh -huh. And this is the future, I gotta say. Like, they didn't have to, they used to have signs that moved like that. <laughs> but there was a Rolo hot chocolate up on there. Ooh, that sounds really good. Yes. Yeah. driving off here into the night mm -hmm. came across that beacon and we were looking for a Dairy Queen you were looking for a Dairy Queen yeah I'm happy with sheets milkshakes and that that's the reason for a milkshake but like 64 you get past Goochland there's nothing yeah. and then there's this no sign until you come up on the exit you look down the exit and you're like oh there's a sign for Dairy Queen mm -hmm. and lo and behold you're already passing the exit at that point so it's gonna be sheets. Yeah. Uh, not complaining here though, yeah. not complaining at all. Now I just have to go back here just to make sure they didn't bring back Crystal Pepsi. And lo and behold, there's no Crystal Pepsi. Eh, still not giving up hope. But there's a new Mountain Dew that I'm looking for and I don't see it here. It's actually like a spicy Mountain Dew. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that during this trip. Whoa. 
What is going on there? Oh, nice. Anyway, pouring something on there. Signature recipe milkshakes. Yeah. Caramel fudge brownie. Yes, I need more time. Caramel fudge brownie blast is really good. I've had that before, and that, that might be what I get this time. Yeah. Quite a few options to pick from, though. There are. I think you can even make your own. Like, you can build your own. But I'm not sure I want to do that. And they got the wake shake. What's a wake shake? Okay, so here's what I went with. This is the Jaradelli or whatever chocolate chip shake. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good there, I gotta say. But I saw yours had like stuff sticking out the top of it. Yeah, you know? and, and it's got like the the brownie chunks. It's like they shoved a brownie in there. They did, they did shove a brownie in what there. What kind is that? Caramel brownie chunk fudge, something like that. The Probably one that's really bad for you, but mm -hmm. um, exceptionally good. Yeah. Very, very good. And I gotta say this one's pretty good too. Like I can taste the little tiny chunks of chocolate in there, mm. you know? Mm, pretty good stuff. Mine has little like brownie chunks in it, I think. Cause every so often you get something in your mouth, you have to chew it. Yeah, I definitely see. I don't know how you're gonna get those ones through the straw. I'm not. All right, so a little ways down the road here, we stopped at another Sheets. Yeah. Got some coffee. Yeah. Uh, and what's cool is, is we're on the road here and we're heading into the night and we're actually working on our PowerPoint for tomorrow. Yeah. Because we have like the stuff together, but we've got to put together the pictures and stuff like that. Right. And uh, with the busy schedule during the week and such. Yeah, I haven't had a chance. chance. Yet. Yeah. But we know what we're going to say. Yeah. We just got to get it put on gotta there. Get it in so there. we're going to be on the road next mm -hmm. couple hours and we'll be working on the PowerPoint mm -hmm. and then getting into. What's the town where this hotel is? Do you remember? Christiansburg. Christiansburg. Yep. Christiansburg, Virginia. Christiansburg, Virginia. Yep. Interesting thing, at the last sheets, we ran into a gentleman, and he told us that they uh, there were some strange lights up in the sky, like swirling around and stuff like that. That's right. And it came ended up coming from a new 7-Eleven that was yeah, across the street. They had those yeah, beacons yeah. out there. Yeah. And, and back before that, there were some other lights that weren't explained, correct? Yeah, that's true. Yep. And and this is the same place that's near Louisa. It's near Louisa County, right? Yeah, Louisa it's actually County. in Orange, Virginia. In Orange, but right near Louisa there, yeah. where we got a call for a UFO a few years back. That's right. So. Yep. We happened to mention it to the guy, and he said, oh, yeah, I've seen that video. Yeah. So he knew exactly who we were. So some it's interesting cool. stuff. Mm -hmm. Four nineteen a gallon for gas. Hmm. Four nineteen. This stuff is more than milk. <laughs> Who yeah. do you think's responsible for this? Who do you think? All right. So pretty first class hotel room here. <laughs> I gotta say the outside looks really neat. Does it not? Like, the outside does look really neat. And actually it's not bad in here if you, you know, look past the, the smushed lampshade and some minor features like that that kind of degrade the look of it. But I mean, other than that, I mean, it's, it's not bad because we're talking about what, a $60 hotel? Yeah, you know? nothing but the best for VAPI. Right. Right? And look at that. It's like sleeping in front of the mountains. It is. I There's something banging on the door already. That's me kicking the bottom of the... <laughs> oh, okay. But look, it's got a Super 8 logo in the corner. Oh, nice. So the nice. image was made specifically for them. But I like the way they stack these pillows. Those are nice. Yeah. yeah that's kind of a, a nice feature. But you see, I brought my own pillow. This is the, like... What do they call that? Um, memory foam? Yeah, it's like the My Pillow Guy contour. pillow. No, it's a contour. It's, I don't buy <laughs> pillows with that weird guy on it. But, but no, I mean, I've got my own pillow, got my leg pillow. For the record, I think the My Pillow Guy's all right. I think it's weird. But let's take a look. And we've got to check out the bathroom situation here. Oh, there it is. Okay. I can work with that. Not bad, and I've been in many yeah. Super 8s, and like I said, when we pulled into this one, it's just kind of got a, a welcoming feel to it. You know, it's got those it neat does. blue lights out there. And yeah, like blue LED lights. Yeah. And, and it's got kind of a log cabin appearance, like the siding has got, makes it look like a log cabin, and 
you know, it's nice. The white porch railings and everything. Very pretty. Yeah. Very cool. Well, what we're seeing here is actually the sunrise. It's not the sunset. And it's the sunrise after we've been asleep. The first time I've seen the sunrise in like seven years. Unless we're just coming home. <laughs> but we got to hightail it over there and get yeah. set up. And maybe grab on. some drive through breakfast along the way or yeah, something. Yeah, hopefully. Something. Man, here's something you don't see every day. I don't know if we can zoom in on this. There's someone up there parasailing. Keep left. It's very early in the morning to be doing that. <laughs> like these people get up at six o'clock in the morning and go parasailing. Especially over the interstate. Yeah, that's pretty cool though. It is. Pretty neat to see. Dirty windshield. A lot of bugs kill on the way up here. So there it is, St. Albans. Kind of imposing up there on the hill. A very creepy place that you can see from all the way across the valley. Yeah, when you're coming into Radford. Yeah. On I-81, off of I-81, but yeah, really cool place. Part of the creepiness of it is the stories that you've already heard about it before you get here. And then another creepy part of it is that it's been very poorly maintained over the years. Like. You know, the paint's peeling off of the windows and, you know, screens are ripped and wood pieces of trim are falling apart. And, you know, it's just, you know, made, made, I think maybe they keep it that way just to make it look even more creepy because somebody's making a hell of a lot of money off this place right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, off the creep factor. It definitely is creepy inside, that's for sure. And we have McDonald's. We do. Okay, and probably not a whole lot new to see here no All right i went for the chicken biscuit and there it is oh yeah there's a hearty chicken, chicken biscuit. biscuit sure did you asked for two number twos nope no, i did not and no. linda got the sausage, sausage egg, egg and cheese, cheese which mcmuffin mm -hmm. uh, i personally go for the mcgriddle it tastes like a sausage egg and cheese between two pancakes yeah, the McGriddle is a little more greasy, I think. Yeah, that's why I like it. Well, it that's it is better, honestly. But I felt like maybe for the purposes of being in this place with like a small bathroom available to everybody, um, it might be better just to go with something that's not going to kill my stomach. Right on. So our table here, uh, tablecloth doesn't quite <laughs> cover the table. But... Um, usually covers our table, just not this table. Yeah, that's kind of like the first thing like people see when they come in, like, oh, there's, yeah, there's like the right FBI, the and they have like a kind of a, you know, half tablecloth. Well, see, the thing is they put us right in front of the door because we are like the best team in Virginia. So, you know, <laughs> that that's the reason for the positioning. We were just unprepared because they came in with us. They provided the table, right? We were like, well, we don't have to haul this big ass table up the hill. It is! So, you know, this is yes. what we have to deal with today, which is fine. Because, you know, our reputation speaks for itself. We don't need our tablecloth to do it for us. Now, keep in mind, these opinions reflect solely that of Linda's <laughs> and not the organization of VAPI. There's a ghost. <laughs> so, the thing is, like, we're sitting right inside the door here. Kind of see it over there, right? There it is. And the the problem with this is like that's where the bathroom is, it's right outside the door. 
It is. It, it's like the bathroom door is like right around the corner. Is yeah. What you're saying? Yeah. And I, and I have this thing where like Arby's and McDonald's is kind of creeping up at me at the same time. Ooh. <laughs> and I have a problem like using that bathroom because there's so many people walking by. Right. You know, and I guarantee you, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm pretty sure it's a one, one like stall. one stall bathroom. Right. So as soon as I go in there, like no one's gone to the bathroom this whole time, but as soon I as I go in there, someone's going to be knocking on the door. Yeah. You know, and even if they're not, I'm going to have anxiety anytime somebody, <laughs> like with the constant traffic that's going by. So... Yeah. I'm not sure anything's happening until like after we leave here. Yeah, you've got kind of this weird bathroom thing. See, you know, I could go in there and I could like totally blow it up and have no problems at all. People could be like, you could basically hack the door down with a, with a hatchet and, and I'm just going to sit there and continue doing my business because you're asking, wait, I got right. in here first. So, you know, I'll call out and be like, hey, somebody's in here, you know. Yeah, and, and I never know what to say. Like when someone knocks on the door, like it's obvious that someone's in there because the door's right. locked. Right. You know what I mean? But what do you say? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? I know. Like, what do you say when someone knocks on the bathroom door? Absolutely. You say, in here. <laughs> I'm in here. Hello. Or answer back in like a different voice. I'm not a ghost. I'm here. <laughs> or you could just start grunting really loud. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I went to the bathroom. How did it go? It's actually not right outside of this door over here. It's like around the corner. Oh, okay. But that's unfortunately, not, that's there's better. like another door that's right outside the bathroom. And that's the one that people use even more. So it was like more traffic. And Where when does I came the door out, go to? It goes out to the, like kind of loops around like a U, you oh, know? Oh, okay. So uh, like there's more people coming. And I came out, there's like four people waiting to go to the bathroom. Oh. And this, so was it just a single stall? Yeah, but there was two of them, which was good. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not bad. And the toilet paper was kind of like, uh, like loose leaf. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. So, like rolling papers. Yeah. Yeah. But that's <laughs> over with. Hopefully for the duration of this time. <laughs> so, I noticed this book here on the table. Right. That's got. That's got your name on it. Sure does. I don't know if the picture does you any justice. Don't think so. Looks more like an old church. <laughs> well, that's not actually me on the cover. So, why don't you but tell would, the folks at home? I would say if I if I had to be represented as a building, it would be an old church. Ah, yes. That that kind of is a good symbolism for me. But um, right. Yeah, this is my book. It's more of a photograph book, but it does have captions. So I, I actually technically am a writer. Kind of, but as you can see, these are photographs that we took kind of on our journeys. Um, we, I absolutely love abandoned homes and abandoned places, so we traveled around um, the state of Virginia doing all kinds of investigations, but occasionally we would just take out and, and just when we had nothing to do, go out for the day and just find old abandoned buildings and take pictures of them. So that's pretty much where this book originates from, is all of those old photographs that we had collected over the years. and. Um, there's some really, really cool photographs in here. Just perfect lighting and, you know, like the way these things degrade, it, it just amazes me. But um, I have... Now, not too many spoiler alerts now. We want no. people to buy the book. I do have an acknowledgement <laughs> in the front that I'm, I really like because that's, that's for my daddy. And then um, the introduction is pretty cool. Hey, There's that me. That more like that's, you. That's yeah, me. I see the resemblance there. Yeah, there, is, there should be a resemblance. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, I have these on sale. I think they're still on sale on Amazon, um, you know, and check it out. Yeah. Bookstore nice throughout book. Virginia. Yeah, it, it's a really good kind of gift sort of book for anybody that is into abandoned places um, in, in Virginia. So, and there's a lot of those from all over the country. So if you can't, if you're not into Eastern Virginia, you know, you might find a, another book in the same series that is from another part of the country. So. They're not quite as good though. No. <laughs> all right, so it's lunchtime. And uh, we wandered out of St. Albans here. Mm -hmm. And Linda said, there's some eateries down yeah. the street. There's a Bojangles and there's a Wendy's. There's a McDonald's right here if we feel like that, but uh, also a Hardee's. Quite a few unique Taco options Bell. out here in Radford. So. I don't know about unique, but. <laughs> Go and check them out. There's options. <laughs> Thank you.
So safe to say this is our third time seeing the red awning this trip, <laughs> or the third time stopping at it, not yeah. perhaps the third time seeing it. Yeah. But we were driving down the street and sure enough, there was that beacon that shines so bright, even in the daylight, right. in the glistening sun, you could see this beautiful red beacon. So we decided why go anywhere else when there's a Sheets? And that's where we're gonna eat. This is kind of a spacious Sheets and they even have like a whole ordering station out here. It's not just like the ones that you go up along the counter to order. And uh, what in the world? Oh man. I know. That's scary. <laughs> Does, did anybody notice that that was there? It's like a yeah, claw reaching out of the sign for my throat. <laughs> so wandering back to the back to the Pepsi cooler, they have something here. Mountain Dew, flaming hot. There it is. So we can cross this off our list of things to get during this trip. It says caution, flaming hot taste. It's got that little flame guy on there holding the match, and it's got a lime because it's got a blast of heat and citrus. Oh, man. I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna eat my habanero chicken boneless bites. I'm gonna dip them in jalapeno ranch and then talk about demons. There's a theme here. <laughs> so before I taint my taste buds with the uh, <laughs> buffalo habanero chicken wings, I'm gonna get a, the true flavor of this flaming hot Mountain Dew. Had anything to eat or drink for about two or three hours, so the taste palate should be pretty cleansed. That's a unique flavor. What's it like? I can taste the lime. Uh -huh. And when you first drink it, you don't taste any heat. It just tastes like, almost like a lime flavored Mountain yeah. Dew is the best way I could describe it. I was expecting like cinnamon flavored. Right. But then after you swallow, there's this little, just a very slight burst of heat burst. that comes up and kind of tickles the throat. Hmm. That's interesting. This is actually pretty good. I was thinking it was going to be kind of nasty. I was just getting it just to try yeah, it. Yeah, just to try it. I'm not disappointed. Like I would actually get this again because of the flavor. Hmm. You should That's try good. a sip of it. Yeah. I don't want to taint the flavor of my garlic parmesan chicken chunks. It's <laughs> all good. Yeah, so when this guy was making those, I saw him, like, he tossed it in the sauce. Yeah. And then he took, like, some parmesan, shredded parmesan, and, like, sprinkled it on oh, there. Oh, like a handful of it? Yeah, so let's go ahead and... Isn't that up? See, that looks as good as we remember. It's been a while. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't see quite as much sauce down inside yeah. there as what they used to do, but, um... You know, that can be, looks can be deceiving. That's right, they definitely know? can. Because it could be that all the Parmesan soaked up the sauce. So that Perhaps. makes a little bit of difference. And the Perhaps. breading, you know. I normally see it like swimming in the sauce. Yeah, yeah but it, it does that. actually look pretty good, so. What kind of sauce did you get on the side here? Um, Dr. I got Pepper. some kind of like tangy Asian sauce and Dr. Mm -hmm. Pepper sauce. This is, the Dr. Pepper barbecue is really, really oh, yeah. good. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, I love it. So this is the buffalo habanero wings. And, uh, they got a good bit of sauce on them. And look out Arby's. Sheets has curly fries. And from our experience in the past, they're pretty good. They're better than Arby's. Oh, that's, a, that's some, some high rated right there. Yeah. It's pretty serious. They have a little more like meat to them. You know what I mean? Like they're a little more beefy than the than the ones at the uh, Arby's. Yeah, nothing like a good meaty fry. Yeah, yeah, and I like that. I like a lot of potato with my fries, so pretty good. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of white people here. <laughs> yeah.
So we're getting ready to give our presentation in the electroshock room. Yeah, therapy. Electroshock therapy. Electroshock yes. therapy room. They thought it was therapy. Looks pretty creepy back there. Yeah, it does. This isn't it. No, it's like green lights and no, stuff. This is like the kitchen or something. Yeah, I think it is, but you know, we're whispering because they're still giving a glass in there. They're still doing a lecture. Well, we wrapped up here at St. Albans, and I have to say, a uh, pretty good day. When we started out, I had four books on the table, sold a bunch, because at the end of the day, I had five books left. I don't know how that <laughs> happened. Linda was down to just two books left, and the presentation was quite possibly the best we've ever given, I gotta say. <laughs> there was nobody in the presentation. <laughs> the place was dead, you know, no pun intended. But um, yeah, it was it was pretty bad. There was not hardly anybody walking through there. I think the people that purchased tickets to the event were purchasing it for specifically for the investigation of St. Albans that's going to be tonight. Um, so there was nobody coming through there. It was 80 degrees outside. The sun is shining. It's beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful day, and one of the first beautiful days that we've had after a cold spell. So I think people were like wanting to be outside doing things instead of being in, in a convention. Right. So a couple of things working against it. And um, it was a very long day of sitting there like watching. But you did only have two books left at the end. I started with two books. But we watched a couple episodes of Cobra Kai and it was cool. Yeah. So, you know. Okay. Good time. <laughs> but we got a pretty cool place lined up to eat. A couple options. Yeah. Second choice if first doesn't work or vice versa. Right. Three Little Pigs Barbecue. Where are we? Um, it says Daleville. Virginia. Daleville? Yes. Daleville. It's probably named after Dale Earnhardt, I think. Maybe. This is where he hailed from? It could be. I don't know. I don't think so, but... Possible. We got some merchandise over here. Three little pigs jerk sauce, barbecue sauce. Some pretty good stuff there. So we got the outdoor seating here. We did. And it's Linda nice. was commenting on these chairs. Look at how cool these things are. Three little pigs barbecue. Like that's a. Where does one get a chair like that? You know. I don't know. If we could get like a VAPI one like that to take to the conventions. They had to be expensive. Like, I would to imagine. Get made, so. Let's peruse this menu here. Like, barbecue sandwiches, smoked wings. Oh man. Quesadillas. Flipping it over. Third pound burgers. This is an extensive menu. Like to give you an idea of how big this menu is. Like Linda could use it as a blanket. <laughs> See? I could like, not. That's far out. Definitely could not. So we found this barbecue combo platter that I think we're going to try. Vinegar pork, tomato pork, third rack of ribs, five wings, quarter chicken, and jerk pork tenderloin. And then over here, look at the different wing sauces. There's a lot. So these are the barbecue nachos. Piled with jalapenos, some sour cream. Yeah, shredded lettuce, and tomatoes. There's some, there's some barbecue in there somewhere. There's a piece of it right there. Yep, lots of cheese it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Mm. Mm. That was a good nacho. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Trying to dig down in there and get the barbecue. <laughs> you got some. It's like a tomato based, right? Yeah. Pretty good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. And I found this hot sauce on the table that I'm going to have to try for sure. It's a cayenne pepper sauce. Now they brought us some hush puppies here too, and you had a chance to sample them. Mm -hmm. How are and they? They're very, very good. On a scale of one to cookout. They're up there with cookout. It's 
a pretty high rating. Yeah, they're right up there. They're that good. So the combo platter has arrived. And we just ate like four hush puppies. Got three more. <laughs> We've got a, some ribs here. Yeah. Look pretty good. Your beans look really good too. Yeah, they do. And there's the barbecue. But that's a pretty little salad. And look at that salad. Mm hmm. So all this comes together. This is actually like one order, but we're gonna split it. Yes. We're not splitting the beans. He, that's his side, but we will split, split the barbecue. All right, so you've had a sample of it. Is it the vinegar one? Mm-hmm. And how, how is it? Mm -hmm. Not a strong vinegar flavor, just a hint of vinegar. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would venture to say that we could probably take some of that tomato-based barbecue sauce and put it on here, and it would not, you know, affect much. Yeah, I might try some of that pretty little pig's hot sauce on there. Mm-hmm, because it's just a, just a hint of vinegar. I'm gonna start off with one of these ribs here. Those look amazing. They do. They're big. <sighs> They're big. They're, big. They're pretty solid. Mm -hmm. some, ring, some ribs, they just kind of pull them apart, and they fall apart easy. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Mmm, mm, that is a good rib. It's got some really good flavor to it. Like you can taste the smoked flavor. Mm, I'll bet. It's light on the sauce. Mm hmm Very good. So as the sun starts to go down, they definitely have some nice ambience out here, right? Mm-hmm, they certainly do. And uh, we definitely destroyed some food. That's we for did. Sure but there's still quite a bit left over. Those hush puppies are amazing though. Like the breading is so light and crispy and the inside of them is so good. Mm -hmm. Got some pink lemonade left there. What else was amazing was the baked beans. Like those yeah. had a flavor unlike anything I've ever tried. They almost had like a, like they had chunks of peach in it or something. There was some sort of fruit in there. Some that kind was of like, pepper. Holy crap, it was peppers and onions and then maybe peaches. And oh my god, they were amazing. So we're driving down Interstate 81, and we realized like we haven't had pilot coffee in a long time. That's been a while. It's been at least since we went to that trip up to Northern Virginia, which That's was right. gas grub and ghosts, probably about like two months ago or something yeah. like that. But uh, that being said, we had to stop here and we were talking about, I remember stopping here, we had an investigation out in Dublin, Virginia, yeah. and it involved UFOs. And I don't think I've ever talked about this on video, but I, we were coming in here and I was recording and when I went back and I edited the video, the video had this glitch in it. Every time I finalized it, this whole part here was messed up. Yeah. And I called, I got to the point where I called Apple support. I was like Googling it, trying to figure out what this glitch was in the video. Uh, they yeah. took me through all their guidelines and everything else and they couldn't explain it. And it was just weird because it was the only time it had that kind of glitch in that. it. Yeah. Never again after that yeah. and never before that. Yeah, it was only after that investigation. Yeah. Yeah. Only after that was a creepy investigation too. I don't know, did we put, do we have a video about that one? Yeah. We did yeah. have a video about that. That might have been a case files video. UFOs I don't over know. Dublin or something. I was trying to think of the name <sighs> of it. UFOs in Dublin, the, something yeah. like that. I don't know. Yeah, it was really weird, weird it, investigation. It was some super strange stuff. I forgot about that one until I yeah. saw this pilot here. I'm pretty sure that video put us on like the FBI watch list. Oh yeah, I'm at the sure at we the very on least. It now because of that video. If not taking the call from that lady that was wanted by the CIA. And yeah, that might. Have yeah, that might have got us too, on there so. too. But <laughs> somebody's watching. Yeah, yeah look at those pizzas. This is really pretty good. good. Fried chicken. Yeah. Man, this is the place to eat right now. <laughs> now it said selection lock. What does that mean? I don't know, but it didn't give me the option of choosing what coffee I wanted. Which uh -oh. is worrying me a little bit because I'm afraid I'm going to get the decaf. That's a concern. Yeah. So, cleaning requires some. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know about this. 
I mean, they've got tile houses in the graphs. I, I do like the red lids, even though these aren't my favorite kind of lids. Um, I do like the red ones because it's like if you don't get red lids just anywhere. No, you know? this, this is a nice looking cup right here. It's it unique. Is. And it's, nice. it's styrofoam. Yeah. You like most of them have the paper the cups and they burn your hands. You got to put the hand warmer on right. there. Screw the environment. Just yeah. give me my hot coffee, please. Who cares about the environment? <laughs> so we arrived at the gateway to the east. That's yes. the welcome center back here. And if you happen down to Williamsburg area, you'll stop by this. If you come down 64, mm -hmm. yep. you can stop in here and pick up a rack card for right. Yorktown Ghost Walks and yeah. come on down and take the tour. Visit YorktownGhostWalks.com yeah. to sign up. But they have some vending machines in there and this is where I often get a kickstart for the last leg of the drive. Mm -hmm. And this time I got this Mountain Dew kickstart. It's pineapple <laughs> orange mango. And it says at the top it's got caffeine, 10% juice, coconut water. So yeah. I think it's pretty healthy. It, I, coconut water is good for you. I yeah. know there's a lot of people that just drink the coconut water by itself because I think it has benefits for your like digestion, you know. Yeah, and I need some digestive system. benefits because yeah. I'll tell you what, like I was in this situation when we finished the barbecue where like we got out of the parking lot, I, I had to go to the bathroom, right? And I hate to do the walk back in because it's embarrassing. Yeah. Right? We left like, the restaurant and now I'm walking back. They're looking at me like they're going to seat me or like, why did he leave and just come back? Is he going to complain? And then I go to the bathroom. They know what's going on. I don't right. like that. <laughs> so I gambled on this gas station across the street, which ended up having some pretty nice bathrooms. Yeah. So we lucked out there. It looked sketchy at first. It was a yeah. truck stop, but you know, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like a pilot or a, you know, like one of those kind of truck stops. Right. It was just kind of a smaller one, but a small you know, truck stop. Looked sketchy, but he said it was actually pretty nice. So. Pretty nice. Yeah. Yes. But thank you for joining us. It's been quite an adventure. We had a very good time and remember there is, if you look down below the video here, you scroll down a little bit, there's some merchandise, yeah. some gas scrub and ghost merchandise that's yeah. for sale. Um, like I said, the prices, we don't, we have very limited control over the prices because right. it's the third party company that makes them. Exactly. But uh, they are there and you can yeah. purchase them if you would like to. And we probably will be adding some regular VAPI merchandise yeah, in the very like near future. These as kinds well. of shirts yep. will be on there sure. and be on there. stuff like that. So yep. stay tuned. And we're looking forward to having another adventure soon. I know we got an investigation next week. Yeah. So there will be some case files coming out mm -hmm. uh, with the busy mm -hmm. schedule. We haven't had time to really put them together, but. They will be coming up here in the future. Yeah. I don't want to say near future, but hopefully the near future. Right. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, there's much more to see at a paranormal convention. <laughs>